Welcome back to another video, my brothers. Today's video is titled, Avoid These Four Mistakes. Now, before I dive into the video, make sure you absolutely obliterate the like and subscribe button down below. We are going to crush it in every aspect of our lives this year. So if you're with me, you know what to do. So what are these four mistakes that you should avoid? Mistake number one, brushing things under the carpet in the hope that they will go away. Your problems. Ah, no, just ignore them. They'll just disappear. They won't. They'll magnify. They'll get worse. It's like a check engine light in a car. You think, ah, no, but the car drives, so I'm good. And you ignore it, and you ignore it, and you may have a, a good month or two, and everything's going fine. And then before you know it, boom, the engine goes. You're fucked. Now you need a new car. So the longer you ignore a problem, the worse it gets. Stop, stop ignoring them, man. I used to make this mistake. I used to think, you know what? If you just ignore the letters that you're getting about paying your parking ticket, you know, they'll leave you alone. They fucking won't. They'll keep persisting until they get that money. So don't ignore your problems. Believe me, I learned the hard way. Mistake number two, being impatient. Now listen, man. You can't be naive of how much work it takes to really succeed and how long it takes. You're not gonna start a business today and then next month you're gonna be financially free. You can't be stupid. Stop looking at Instagram and uh, all these young 21 year olds who can tell you that you can become rich in 90 days. It's bullshit. They're selling you a dream. Real work takes time and that's fine. Enjoy the process. I used to stress myself over how long things would take to accomplish, but now I don't fucking care anymore, man. Now I'm enjoying the process, the day-to-day -day activities, okay? Mistake number three, starting four to five different projects at once. Now, it's not specifically four to five. The point I'm trying to make here is distracting yourself, chasing four or five rabbits. If you chase four or five rabbits, you ain't gonna catch one. Narrow your focus. Success requires mastery. Pick one thing and go for it. Now listen, I say pick one thing. If you haven't already identified what your purpose is, you need to identify it. How do you identify it? By trying shit out. Going out there, doing public speaking, going out there, learning sales, which I think you should learn anyways. Regardless of what you want your life goal to be, your purpose to be, learn those skills. But the point I'm making here is, that's how you identify your purpose, by trying shit out. But then once you find the thing that excites you, the thing that you have the most interest in, and the thing that you're naturally quite good at, focus on it. Stop trying to start a social media marketing business with a dropshipping business, with this kind of business, and because you're gonna be all over the place. You won't get anywhere. So remember, success requires mastery. The next mistake you should avoid is blaming other people. If you blame other people, man, you are not ready for success. Because remember, success isn't something you chase, it's something you attract. Success isn't attracted to a complainer. Oh, but I didn't win because of the economy. I didn't win because my dad didn't give me money. I didn't win because of this or that. Bullshit excuses and you know it. Listen, man, in life you either have reasons or results. You don't have, you can't have both at the same time. Reasons or results, what's it gonna be? I used to make excuses, I used to come up with a nice list of why I'm not winning. But I had the tons of reasons, but I didn't have the fucking money. I didn't have the results. Now I just get on with it, man. Now I don't blame anyone. I'm accountable to myself, I'm self-critical. But no one else gets the blame other than me. Because sometimes, even if someone did you dirty, it oftentimes it's your fault, you didn't see the signs. Even if the other person is the one that committed the foul behavior, you were stupid enough to not see the, the red flags. You know, you thought someone was your friend, meanwhile they were plotting against you. So you can, you can blame other people, but the most mature thing to do is blame yourself. Take accountability, man. You are where you are in life right now because of you, no one else. Not your mom, not your girlfriend, not your wife because of you. And the sooner you can take responsibility, the sooner your life can turn around. We ain't making excuses, man. Making excuses is low vibration energy. Fuck that shit. We ain't gonna make excuses. We're gonna take accountability. 
All right, so hopefully this video has helped you. If it has, you know what to do, man. Smash that like and subscribe button down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.